What's up everyone, Patrick here. Welcome back, moving on to the next question. This one's gonna be a little bit tricky. So determine the coordinate on f of x equals the square root of x where the tangent is parallel to the secant line that cuts the function at x equals one and x is equal to four. So to start this question off, I'm actually gonna draw a quick diagram of what is happening. So we got the function square root of x. We know that that function looks like this. And what we're told is that there's a secant line that cuts the function at x equals one and x is equal to four. So let's say one is like over here. This is not gonna be to scale necessarily. And then let's say four is like over here. Right, so the secant line, remember a secant line is always between two points, like average rate of change. That's gonna be the secant line right here on this function. Let me bold it a little bit more. So this is gonna be the secant line. Now the full coordinates here are one, and if we plug in one into this x value, square root of one is just one. So that's the full coordinate there. The full coordinate of this is four and two. All right, square root of four is two. So we gotta find the point, the coordinate on this function, square root of x, where the tangent is parallel to this secant over here. So notice from the diagram, the tangent is gonna be like somewhere over here, right? At that point, the tangent is gonna be parallel to this secant line. So we have to find this coordinate over here where the tangent, one more time, on this function, the tangent at this one point x and y is parallel to that secant line. So the first thing is let's find out what's the slope of this secant line. And the slope of it is gonna be y2 minus y1, so two minus one over x2 minus x1, four minus one, which would give us one over three. So we have to find another way this question could have been worded is find the coordinate on this function square root of x where the slope of the tangent is one over three. So to do that, we need to find an expression for the slope of the tangent, which we know is the limit as h approaches zero of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h, like that. So applying this difference quotient, this general difference quotient to this specific function, f of a plus h, we'd plug in a plus h for x minus f of a, plug in a for x, that's gonna be all over h, like that. And we gotta get rid of this h in the denominator in order to plug in zero for h, so the way we do that, we need to rationalize this. So multiply it by its conjugate, we gotta do the same to the bottom. So it's like we're taking this, multiplying it by one, keeping it the same, just adding more onto it. And what that allows us to do, this times this, difference of squares, it's just gonna be the n's multiplied by each other, so a plus h minus this times that is just a, all over h, I'm gonna keep this and that separate. Right, notice the a's would cancel out, so we'd be left with an h at the top, this could be like your next line, then notice the h's would cancel out. We're just left with a one at the top. And so what we would end up getting, now we could plug in zero for h because that h went away. What we would end up getting is one over, this h goes to zero, we'd have root a plus root a, which would give us, these are uh, like terms, add the coefficients in front, one over two root a. Okay, so this, here gives us the slope of the tangent at any x value. At any x value equaling a, we would just plug that in here, and that would give us the slope of the tangent on this 
function. So if we wanted to know the slope of the tangent at an x value of 9, we'd plug in 9 for a, root 9 is 3, times 2 gives us 1 over 6. That would be the slope of the tangent on this function at an x value of 9. But we're trying to find out <clears throat> when does the slope of the tangent equal 1 over 3. We're solving for the a value. We're not given the a value in this question. We're solving for the a value. We're solving for the x value where the slope of the tangent is going to be 1 over 3. So we just solve from here. Cross multiply. 3 times 1 is 3. Uh, this times 1 would be 2 root a. Divide both sides by 2. And then to get the a by itself, square both sides, right? To get rid of the square root. 3 over 2 to the power 2. The numerator goes to the power 2, which would be 9. 2 goes to the power 2, which would be 4. So a is 9 over 4. So at this x value, 9 over 4, on this function, the slope of the tangent is 1 over 3. You could test this. You could take this, plug it in here. Square root of 9 over 4 is 3 over 2 times 2. 3 over 2 times 2. The 2's cancel out. It would just be 3, 1 over 3. So the x value on this function, where the slope of the tangent is 1 over 3, is 9 over 4. They want the full coordinate, though. So what we would do to find the full coordinate we got the x value, we just have to find the y value. So we'd find what's f of 9 over 4, which would be the square root of 9 over 4, which if you remember your radical rules, it's like that, which would give us 3 over 2. Another way you could have wrote this is 9 over 4 to the power of 1 over 2, and then 9 goes to the power of 1 over 2, and then 4 goes to the power of 1 over 2, same thing, 3 over 2, whichever way you do it. That's the corresponding y value, and that is the final answer. So at that coordinate on this function, the slope of the tangent is going to be 1 over 3, or it's going to be parallel to the secant line that goes through x equals 1 and x equals 2.